Hi guys, this is Jay Karthik and here. This video is a continuation of my previous video in which we saw how we can use the Arduino IoT Cloud with the Maker 1000 board to turn on and turn off an LED. If you haven't watched it yet, you can go ahead and see the link in the description of this video and check it out. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can read a sensor data from the Maker 1000 board's analog input port and send it to the Arduino IoT Cloud. So in my case, I have put up a LDR sensor which is connected to the analog port of the Maker 1000 board. So that is going to send data to the Arduino IoT Cloud. So let's go ahead and see how we have to set it up. First thing, I'm in the previous project, which is the YouTube project and uh, we have the LED property which is already created. Now we are going to go ahead and create another property which is going to read the data from the LDR sensor. So let's go ahead and create a property of int type whose minimum value is going to be zero and maximum as the default value of analog input port on the Arduino Maker 1000 board is zero to one zero two four. So let's give a name for this property as I'm using an LDR sensor here I'm going to give it as an LDR here that's going to be a read only property as we are just going to read the data from the sensor and just push it to the cloud and we want to get the data whenever the value changes or we can even set it to regular so on an interval basis it's, it's just going to send the values I'm going to go ahead and select the regularly with a one second interval and create it. Once you create this, this is going to show up in the properties pane. And uh, so now let's go ahead and edit the code. So now if you go ahead and have a look at things properties dot h file you'll see that the LDR variable has been created and uh, that has been added as a property also in the file. So that's going to read the data and send it to the cloud every one second. But we need to give the variable some value. So that is going to be the analog read of A0 port. In my case, it's the A0 port, yeah. So now let me upload the code. Once I uploaded the code, I can go back to the <coughs> IoT Cloud. Where when I see the widgets panel, I'm going to see that every one second I'm getting the data. When I'm going to keep my hand over the LDR, you can see that the value just goes down. And when I remove it, it's going to read the intensity of the light. So that's how you can just set up any sensor with the Arduino Maker 1000 and give that variable some value that is going to be pushed to the cloud and you can see it real time on the widgets pane. So thanks for watching the video. If you like my video, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Share if you want to share it with your friends.